my husband wants our children to be sailors like him, but I won't have it. Someday I'm gonna be a sailor! Yeah, sailor! Cute kid. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last episode, we reunited Piers with his giant freaking ship, and apparently we can get assaulted while we're on it, so that's interesting. Urchin, Beast, and Seabird coming out of the ocean waters, clambering onto our ship, probably just looking for help. They're drowning, and we say, no! We'll stab you right in the face, buddy. <laughs> and a decent amount of experience points as well. Uh, today, we're going to use this ship to explore. And I am going to take it right up to the Shrine of the Sea God, because yesterday that was something that I was considering doing already. Uh, but this is markedly more efficient. Eh, we should probably port right here. Can we just get out? Yes, we can. Markedly more efficient than going through the Deccan Plateau. Look at this. Right friggin' here. And then after this, because I don't know how long this will take, uh, if it does allow us extra time, then we are going to explore, man. What can we? What can we even do? Wait, we were already here, weren't we? There's nothing we can do, is there? Hmm. Well, maybe not. Did we do everything here? I could have sworn there was more crap here. Let's use lash and climb up this, and see whether or not there was something here for us. Uh, I. I have this image in my mind's eye of there being puddles of water here. Funny, why would I ever expect that, huh? In a shrine of a sea god, you'd think that there would be a dry, a bunch of dry land. But no, I, I figure there's, there's water. Is that the case? We can go down there. We can fall there. We can not do anything there. Hmm. Hi. You are way out of your league, buddy. Yeah, you are, you're done for. 12 experience points? Don't make me sick. Great, so that fell. I don't... Can we do anything else here? I really don't recall what we did or did not do here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this out real quick. Oh, I remember being here now. I remember being here. Didn't we chase like a Jenny or something this way? I think we chased a Jenny. I think we chased a Jenny. I don't know. Uh, the enemies here... We're just, we're gonna, we're gonna do something here that we haven't done ever, I don't think. We're going to whoa, stifle their ability to assault us. Uh, what, what is it that we use? Don't we have something for that? I feel like we have something for that. We've got a special, special thing. We throw nuts on the ground, maybe? No, that's not it. Not antidote. None of these are usable. Maybe we don't have it, or maybe we sold it. Huh. Maybe, maybe it's a... No, it's not a Jenny. Synergy? No? Mm. Mm. Whatever, I guess not. <laughs> Bring them on. All right, we'll leave carcasses in our wake wherever we go. Because we're good guys. And ah, uh, yes, 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 I see now. <laughs> this is what I was looking for. Beautiful puddles upon the floor. And now this will allow us to go to places not yet seen. As I understand it, we have gone to the right. Right? Now, I, now I'm curious and have to check just because I do not remember things. Yes, we have. That's where the Jenny was, and we had to chase him around the circle and put the fire in his way so that he couldn't, you know, continue to do that very strange thing of being in charge of his own freedom. Like, how weird is that? What? No, who would want that? Anyways, onward and outward to charts unknown. There we go. Look at all this stuff. We could jump on it. Beautiful. Mm, I guess this is the right way. Somewhat, kind of. Wait, are we outside? I guess we're outside. That was pretty. That's the horizon. And this. Oh, push it in the, push it in the water. Not what I meant to do, but apparently what I needed to do. And I didn't see anything else that we missed, so apparently we chose correctly, randomly, on the first friggin' try. Jiminy Christmas giblets alive. That's a great call. Don't have the ability to lash from a distance like that, so we'll head north. And we could go down, or maybe that's just to bring back up in case we fall. We would fall right there. We'll come over this way. What we got here? Huh? Anything? Oh, more lashable things that we can't lash. All right, what happens if we force a fall? For oh, we are riding. Okay. Yeah, this is a white water rafting if I've ever seen it. Jiminy Christmas. Whee! That was something. <laughs> uh, let's lash this. And then I think the only option we have otherwise is to go up the ladder and then off to that, up the stairs. 
Hmm. There seemed to me like there was more to explore in that particular room. Hopefully we get a chance to go back. Maybe we just didn't approach it from the right angle. Looks like... Oh, hey, this is this is one of the earlier rooms. I see. And this locking into place will allow us access back to this specific spot. But first, down here, more jumping. I don't I don't know if we're getting back over to the thing. I'm gonna get to this. This shrine action, which is nifty. Maybe. Reveal? Reveal? Reveal reveal to me the way? Yes, indeed. Beautiful. Hello. The statue looks a lot like the one in Dela's sanctum. Oh. Do we have to... Do we cast reveal? Do we have... What do we do here? Again? The statue looks a lot like the one in Dela's sanctum. I don't remember. Did we get something from Dela's sanctum? I just realized, too, that Felix got two weapons here. We gotta sell one of those. Um... The Tear Stone? No, I guess you can't use it, so it's not gonna let us. Hmm. We might not have what we need here. We might, I mean, uh, unless the Cyclone ship? Would the Cyclone help here? I, it blows weeds, it says. Uh, I... Yes, we can try that out? No. Very strange. I don't... I don't particularly know what it is that that it, that it wants from us here. The statue looks a lot like the one in Dela's sanctum. Um. Hmm. Dela's sanctum. Dela's sanctum. Do we have to go back to Dela and get something from Dela that we don't have? I guess that would stand to reason. Where is Dela even? Is Dela the? I think Dela's the first town we were in. Let's go back. Well, we can't go back, can we? Our movement was stifled since we floated down river. Son of a chicken salad. Well, I guess we can leave this way still, because we can hop over that log. Uh, and then I guess we'll go to Dela? I mean, golly gee, well, like, we were able to traverse so much more of this place today. But not enough to actually do anything. Oh, wait, no, we can, we can lash and get back. That's right. Okay, well, yeah, let's explore more of this room. Because I feel like there's more to do here. At least I hope so. I guess there may in fact not be, but it seems so large and intricate that it would almost be sad if not, right? Like, like what is that? We can jump over to that thing. Leave us alone. You guys are weak. Don't want to pick a bone with me because he gets slapped and then left alone. Yeah, we can go this way. Okay, so this is new. Helpful, maybe. Interesting, definitely. Fall down here and that, well, weren't we already up here? We already up here. How do we get this chest, man? What's going on here? <laughs> I feel like we were already over here. We absolutely were already over here. How do we do that? Huh? We gotta fall here now? No, that doesn't seem to make much sense to me. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to get up through that. Please leave us alone. Wolves and a bat. No. No, I won't stand for that. We'll reset the room. Reset the room, lash this, and get another look at that area. Because maybe where that piece of the bridge floated to and stopped here to the right, um, not, not the one that took us to where we just lashed from, but the one prior to it, or the one more north of it, perhaps that... Like, we can walk? So we gotta understand, too, that the, the water is different. There's water you can walk on and water you cannot. The water you can walk on seems a little bit bluer and obviously more calm. It doesn't quite look like you can. Well? Maybe. Maybe we can go south here? Yes, indeed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Give me this thing. What is this? A rusty staff. That doesn't sound great needs to be reforged. Right now, it's god-awful. Okay. So, that's all I wanted to see. Uh, I've never used this, but I really uh, need to start using it. Retreat, so that we can actually get out of these places a little bit more efficiently. And then now, uh, Dela? Is Dela... Right, yeah, Dela's just right to the left, so I'll leave the boat docked where it's at. And here we go. 
We can just, we can just hop in here. Dela's Sanctum? Where's the Sanctum? We can freeze the water. Ha ha ha, yes. The sanctum, the Sanctum. This thing, right? Yeah, look at that action. Oh, there's a teardrop there. This old man's like, hey, what, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> you stay away from that now. Here, all right, it's not for you. It's not for you. It is for me. You senile old coot. You expect me, adventurer of this kind of stature, to see some sort of teardrop stone and leave it alone? Ah, it's practically unheard of. Can't jump that way. Okay, very good. There we are. What is this? Now we've acquired the Sea God's Tear. Fitting. Fitting. <laughs> the exact same statue gets the Sea God's Tear, and that's where we will drop it off. Right here. And what do we get for doing exactly that? Hmm? Who has it? Beers has it. Here you go. Sea God's Tear. Used it on the statue, and the water level lowered, or are we rising? No, the water level is rising, and we are rising, too. Fascinating. Oh, God, we have gone to a new place entirely. I thought that we were about to get rewarded. We were rewarded with elevation. Amazing. We'll elevate even more with the ladder. Uh, ooh. This reminds me of the Venus Lighthouse, in a way. Doesn't seem like there's much here. Cast reveal, just to be certain. Nothing, okay. And head upstairs even further. On top of the tower, it looks to be a, a, a holy high heel. Very good. What is that? Steve Madden's? Put them on my feet. Now I will be six foot four. Can I, can I have it? Can I, what, what, what's happening here? It's like rubbing me around it. There we go. Felix checked on the ground and gave the right prong to Piers. The right prong? What now? What's that? Uh, the right tine. Teen? Tenay? The trident. An important item. Okay, well, can't use it yet, apparently. I wonder if it's at all related to the rusty staff. I don't know, but we clearly need at least the left prong as well, if there's going to specify. If they are going to specify a right prong, well, I just have to imagine that's the case. Let's use retreat once more. Will this take us to the very entrance? Or since this is outside, is this counting as the entrance right here, this ladder? I hope that's not the case. No, thank goodness. It's intelligent and takes us all the way back to the beginning where we can now reunite ourselves with our beautiful boat and explore the seas. The world is our oyster and we're going to suck it down with cocktail sauce and lemon. But really though, where are we going to go? We didn't explore this part of Osenia, right? Look at all these places we could dock here to the east. Of course, we could also go to all of this crap. There's a big barrier right there, so we can't go any further that direction. Maybe we could sail through this and even land on this little island. Can't go through here, so we cannot... Can't get to this continent. Or this one, which is unfortunate. That's like a whole lot of crap. If we could, like, land here and carry the boat over this way... <laughs> I guess not, I guess not. Uh, there's all these islands, too. Oh, we're about to do some serious adventuring here, people. Oh, God. Let's go, let's go north first. This big beach. All right. I like big beaches. That's, that, that's my, my, my problem or something. I don't know. But we're going to go that way and hopefully, yep, never mind. I'm saying hopefully not get assaulted along the way. My goodness gracious, it's like the game knew that's what I was about to say. It's like, yeah, what? Hopefully what? Huh? Hopefully you run into a friggin' seagull. All right, all right, all right. Uh, it's going to actually take a while. Maybe there'll be something over here to the left. Let's see. I, I, I kind of want to make landfall sooner than later, because it's not like... You know, not like sailing is awful, but it's just not anywhere near as exciting as exploring the land. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't seem to me like there is anything over here that we can dock at. Oh, hey! Just hop out. Go to the lighthouse. Gosh darn it. Can't do that. Is that Venus? I think that might be Venus. Three urchins! How could you? Can you eliminate in one go, Sheba? Not quite. Oh, neither can Jenna. Jiminy Christmas. Neither can Felix. Oh my goodness. It's impossible. No one's ever done it before. This time, however, they will be defeated. We'll make some sweet... Oh, what is it? I don't even remember. I forget. There's a sushi when you use the urchin. Jiminy Christmas. It's not uni. Is it uni? It might be uni. I don't know. Let's go this way. It's not necessarily... I love sushi. That's not on my, like, top tier list, though. I say I'm a salmon guy more than anything. But I'll eat, you know, anything twice. Oh, hey. This is all completely isolated. This beach, you cannot access anything else, but there is a settlement here. 
A blue wolf, a dire wolf. It's in dire straits because it fell into a vat of blue raspberry Kool-Aid. And it's feeling sick. Put it out of its misery. Stop number one on our great sea adventure is Champa. Oh, hey, you guys were blamed for crap. For, for peers and everything, right? Could we visit Champa and Golden Sun 1? I think we could. Reveal. I'm just gonna take this, okay? I don't know what it is, but it's my- Ooh! Viking helm, huh? Dinga <laughs> dinga dergen. It's good. 12 points better and it resists water. It would ruin Felix's attack and only boost his defense by 2, so Felix is going to keep it. Or excuse me, Pierce is going to keep it. If there's a shop here, that'd be great, because we've got several things to sell now. These. It's like Beetle's ship from The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Oh, thank you! There's not much space in the cliff caves. That's why we live on the boats. Fascinating stuff, my man. Well, it doesn't seem to me like any of these are merchant ships, because... Otherwise, they'd have the very telltale sign of a sword. Isaac! We definitely were here in Golden Sun 1. Isaac, is it you? Do my eyes deceive me? Do I look like Isaac? Isaac got blonde hair. Crazy. I got, you see this brunette? Luscious locks? Got a perm. Young lady, are you looking for someone by the name of Isaac? Yes, old man, I'm looking for one called Isaac. Gosh, do you hear me or what? Where is he? Um, well, I'm sorry, he's not with us. Well, then where can I find him? Why do you want to find him so badly? Me? I am Fezzy. Oh, it's Fuzzy, that's right. Isaac helped me once and I've never forgotten about it. I've become habitually and ritualistically obsessed over him! He also helped Olmo. Olmo was trapped, but Isaac saved him. He's a brave man, isn't he? <laughs> I suppose, but why are you looking for him? Do you like him? Is that you creepy old man? Why are you digging into that? It doesn't matter. Leave her alone. You're a mean old man. It's not polite to tease me. That's what it is. You like Isaac. <laughs> no, I am so embarrassed. Don't worry, Fuzzy. We'll tell Isaac how you feel. Right, really? Well, then will you give him this when you tell him? What is it? Isaac is on a dangerous journey. I am worried about him, so I made him a good luck charm. It is the golden burrito! <laughs> he will eat it, and the beans will nourish his face! Okay, well, maybe we will eat the burrito instead. I do love a burrito! Oh, it's a golden ring. What is- no, put it on the ground. Just kidding, we'll take it, but we are full of crap, man. We're full of crap! Eat an herb. Someone. Uh, Sheba, closest to death. Grab the golden ring. It looks more like an armlet than anything. Let's see what we got here. What can it do for us? Raises elemental resistance. And it's... Fine for anyone to use? I guess... Piers, keep it, whatever. Cool. Yeah, we are we are chock full items once more, however. We need we desperately need to find a store. Uh this is a store a giant meatball. It's like the meatballs from Vale. Or the meatball that was on top of Akafubu's head. What's up? Welcome, welcome. If you need it, we've got something. Artifacts? What do you got for here? Ooh, 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 ooh. You do be having stuff. You got the demonic staff for ten thousand. Oh god, that's a a market improvement, yeah. That's Almost half our money. You fungus! I know she's caring too much, but she can handle it. Just swap it out. Fine. All right, well, let's sell stuff here. Uh, Felix has to sell the Storm brand. Is that it? Looks like it. Sheba can sell the armlet. And that also looks like it might be it. We are really needing to, to use some stuff. Can't sell the Shaman's Rod. It just sits there, useless. Sheba... Got nothing. Okay. And Piers can sell a few things, actually. He can sell the helmet. No, he can sell one thing, just the helmet. Great, 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 great. Okay. Uh, can we... Can... Just leave me alone, leave me alone. Can we condense anything? I couldn't help but notice we have a cookie. What is that good for again? Oh! Maximum PP. Definitely gonna go to Felix. Yeah, I mean, look at that crap. Needs it. Desperately. What else do we have? Do... The nut doesn't do anything like that, does it? Let me see. Uh, it does boost defense. Uh, defense 134, 130, 125. Oh, God. Piers is a friggin' tank. Look at that defense and attack of his. Might be the highest combined number. Yeah, it's pretty close there with Felix. Uh, Sheba definitely needs the defense. Desperately. Anything else? It doesn't look like it. Why can't these nuts do good like that? Why gotta be a hard nut? 
Strange thing. All right. Yes, I now would like to buy the demonic staff. Sounds terrifying, but golly gee williker, it's a major boost. 173, yeah, 16 point boost. Heck yeah. Equip it, yes. Oh, you've been cursed, what? Wow, that's great, huh? You've been cursed, love it. I don't love that. What does that mean? Huh? Why is that? G give it to her. So what does it mean to be cursed? What does it mean to be cursed? A cursed item immobilizes you. Remove it at a sanctum. Okay, well, I guess we gotta go to a freaking sanctum and get the curse off. There's a sanctum here, right? There's a sanctum at every town. This feels sanctimonious in some capacity. Uh. Not quite. I don't know what this is. Who are you? A champ of sailors who don't live in the cliffs are no better than cowards. The ones living in the caves will protect Briggs and Obaba without a second thought. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, Briggs. Yeah, that dude. He's in prison. Whatever. <laughs> He's a pirate. That's Briggs' theme. Pirates of the Caribbean? No, 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 no. It was, it's Briggs' theme. And there's nothing here, dude. Briggs ordered me to keep watching his absence. If Osama's so worried about Briggs, then we ought to send someone to look for him. Oh, have I got news for you? Reveal, there's something in here. It gotta be nothing. What? All these boxes and barrels and jars. Oh my, nothing. Not for even one little guy. I bet you're wondering why only sailors and their families get to live in the cliffs. Well, up here, families can look out to the sea and wait the return of the sailors. Okay, bye. It's kind of a neat cliff thing, but didn't actually do anything for me. It's funny, uh, walking through this cavern system, I'm like on edge just expecting a random encounter. I, I think it's just the scenery of like, oh god, this is, it's a dungeon. It's not. Has my grandson returned? Is my Briggs come out? No, uh-uh, he's in jail. I asked not to be disturbed. Well, Lava's not seeing anyone right now. She's concerned about her grandson. She doesn't want to be bothered. Yeah, I got news about the grandson. Perhaps she ain't gonna like. We check that. Yay, lucky medal. We got a few of those. We gotta go to Tolby. Definitely gotta go to Tolby. Um, we can still go up yet further. Let's check this out first. I wonder if this is Briggs' room. Briggs and his kid and his wife, maybe. It would make sense, given the, uh, the old Baba living there. Uh, ooh, we going deep now. We going way long ways. <laughs> Where are we going? What is this? This giant, this is the toilet. It's the big hole. That pit is Obaba's forge. She uses it when she's working metal in the weapons. Fascinating. So Obaba is an old blacksmith. Well, we do have a couple of things that could be worked with, right? We have, who has it? I think someone has it. The tear stone, forgeable, water essence, right? And then Piers also has this rusty staff, needs to be reforged. And then there's this, the right tine of a trident. I'd have to imagine that once we have all the parts of that, that too will need to be forged. So we need to figure something out here. If not now, then definitely later. Is it gonna be the same thing? No, it's the same thing. You lie, if he had come, he'd be here. Oh, I'll see you later, fine, whatever. So I don't, maybe we're just not meant to do something now, or maybe, yeah, maybe we have to go back and free Briggs. Jiminy Christmas, wouldn't that be atrocious? He's a criminal. My husband wants our children to be sailors like him, but I won't have it. Sunday, I'm gonna be a sailor! Well, a sailor! Cute kid, all right. Well, I don't, I don't feel particularly drawn to this. Uh, it does stand out to me as far as something that I feel like I will need to do at some point. What I need to do first and foremost, really, is cure this curse. Here we go, that looks sanctum-like. Oh, what's up, holy man? Yeah, remove a curse, please. Is, is how much? Not 190? Please and thank you. Beautiful. He rubs her with a bunch of Skittles, apparently. They all went inside her body. Perfect, I didn't know that. Maybe that's why I haven't been cursed. Maybe it's also why I have pre-diabetic. Who knows? Who knows? Anything is possible. Anyways, moving onward, we will, I suppose, take our leave of Champa? I mean, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot. Well, we, no, wait, do you need food? 
We sold everything. Sold. We sold everything. Wait. Equip it. Wait, what? Immobilize? It oh, does that just mean we can't get... Oh, God. I see. So I just wasted that. Uh, it, when it says a cursed item immobilizes you, I thought that meant that it... You know, you couldn't move. You couldn't attack or anything. But apparently, what it seems to mean instead is that you can't... Oh, it's Alex. You can't unequip it. Why is the music changing like this? Like it's all ominous? Is he gonna punch me? Alex is a water adept. We'd been traveling together, but he left us when he landed on Indra. A water adept? Ah, and I see you've made a new friend. You've been busy, haven't you? Yeah, we do a lot of stuff. And you found yourself a new water adept. Do you mean to cast me away like old trash? Man, you left us. You dude? What do you want with us now, Alex? Or did you forget you were the one who abandoned us? My dear Jenna, have you come to despise me so after all we've been through? Yes. That's right, Felix. Why should we care about someone who just left us behind like that? My, aren't we a bitter bunch? I almost read that bunch is a B-I-T something word, and I was just trying to help you with your little task. We have no need of your help. We can light the lighthouses without you. Can you really? So what, it's Alex and, and Satoros' or Minardi's sister, Karst? That's right, Karst. I'm flattered that you remember. What is this, Alex? I mean, who could forget her jaundiced skin? What's going on? Oh, how can I explain this? What going on? Alex is demonstrating his remarkable foresight once again. <laughs> oh, have you not had the pleasure of an introduction? He stayed back at the ship when I saw them in Madra. I am a Geisho. Let's see. That guy's Felix, and the girls are Jenna and Sheba, which makes him... Graydon. They look like an unreliable bunch of ragamuffins. Yes, they are rather useless, aren't they? That's why I finally had to abandon them, of course. But now I believe I may have been... hasty in my judgment. You are Piers. How... how do you know my name? How soon they forget. We met you before, when you were being... detained. Who could forget the amateur adept changing water to ice in that strange little town? Oh, you saw that. That must be how you knew Piers was a water adept. In fact, I was even thinking of borrowing his ship at one point. You would steal someone's boat? That's so typical, Alex. Always stealing crab guys. Now you wound me, Jenna. I only meant to borrow it. Whatever. You might have meant. That doesn't make it right. She was having an issue. And just when I was about to seize the opportunity, you had to come back. You mean from Kabomba? I was mere moments too late. Isn't that a shame? Still, because of that, I did meet Karst and Agatio, so perhaps it was my fate. Can't you just stop talking about yourself for one second, Alex? Enough of your childish gibes. Alex, I want to know what makes these punks useful. Because they brought us the orb that Akapubu had taken. That shows some resourcefulness. How so? The Kabombo are quite warlike. Or were, at any rate. Recovering the orb was most likely not easy. They were just your typical villagers, easily frightened with a small display of synergy. No, they would have used less abrupt methods than those you favor. Oh, what methods would those be? Alex said it clearly enough. We wouldn't terrorize people into doing what we wanted. Enough of this. Stop changing the subject. When are you going to light the remaining lighthouses? Yes, our patience has been getting to where then. If you waste much more of our time, we'll take those elemental stars and do it ourselves. If we had a wind adept like Sheba and the elemental stars, we wouldn't need you. Excuse me? I am, of course, opposed to their line of thinking. My experience with Saturos and Minardi suggested that while they were fierce warriors, they are somewhat lacking when it comes to solving the mysteries of the lighthouses. You mean to say that they failed to solve the riddles? Miserably. Are you suggesting they were simple brutes incapable of logic and intelligence? And are you saying the same of us? I'm afraid so. 
You're dumb as rocks, man. Alex, whose side are you on? I'm on no one's side. My only concern is to see the lighthouse's beacons lit once again. So you mean to leave the task to Felix? Then why have we come all this way looking for Felix? I merely wanted to confirm that he and his companions had not forgotten their quest. Is that truly all? I also wanted to introduce Felix to the two of you. Why would you want to do that? With Cesaros and Minardi gone, you probably felt very little pressure to complete your task. I cannot have that. What do you mean by that? With Zitaros and Minardi gone, I felt another pair might, oh, how shall I put this, provide you with the proper incentive to complete your task. Is that some kind of threat? Take it as you wish, I just wanted to provide you with the proper encouragement. So what, you've used us to your satisfaction and now our role is done? You only wanted us around to flex a little muscle and scare them into action. Fine. I suppose we will let you go today. I'm not scared. I'll fight you. I'll eat you right here. But we will always be nearby, pushing you to make your way to Jupiter Lighthouse swiftly. I look forward to seeing you soon, Felix. Somewhere very near Jupiter Lighthouse, I'm sure. Peace out. Oh, wait. I forgot. Craydon. Am I right in recalling that you pursue this quest on the behalf of Tolby's ruler, Barbie? This is true. I'm studying alchemy because Lord Barbie has ordered it. He went about it. Ah, what a pity. It would seem all your studies have been for naught. What are you getting at, Alex? Only that it seems your Lord Barbie has at last succumbed to the ravages of time. He passed away. In his sleep. Lord, Lord Barbie is dead! Oh, so you didn't know. Lord Bobby dead? Could that really be true? Alex, how would you know such a thing? Do not mistake me. We had no hand in Bobby's passing. However, the people of Tolby may be under the impression that our presence led to his death. Alex, cut the melodrama and get to the point for a change. Simply put, I would recommend against traveling up North Gondwin for a while. I just thought it might be better if you focused on your quest, instead of exploration, for now. How kind of you. Take it as you will. Very well, and may we meet again. So the only reason Alex came here was to threaten us? And to bring up news of Bobby's death, despite the fact that we asked for no such news. Perhaps he had his own reasons for telling Creighton. What do you mean, Piers? Well, if Craydon undertook this quest on behalf of Bobby, then he no longer has any need. Oh, of course, I hadn't thought of that. Your orders were to find Lemuria, right, Craydon? That's right, but if Bobby really has died, you're free to go where you will, Craydon. Well, that's not true, Sheba. Certainly, my original reason for researching alchemy was for Lord Bobby. Was for Lord Bobby? That's the past tense. What are your reasons now? Well, this is no longer solely for research. I do this because of what I've learned on this quest. Your research? What you learned on this quest? Huh? Of course you don't understand. Felix is the only one I've spoken to about any of this. Please, Felix, let's not say too much about it just yet. It's far too complicated. Well, when will you tell us? I'm sure we'll tell you once we get to Lemuria. Do you promise? I promise. Pierce, you don't mind waiting? I cannot read minds like Sheba, but I have a guess as to what you're thinking. A guess? What do you mean? You are a great scholar, Craydon, are you not? I believe your theory is correct, and to prove it, I want to return to Lemuria as soon as possible. Okay. I, I guess we go and work on that next time so thank you so very much for watching i do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself if you did please consider pressing any of the buttons underneath the video and i'll see you tomorrow